some alcohol. So I've got, on my cup, I've got matte medium uh, glazing acrylic liquid. On my palette, I've got chrome yellow, yellow ochre, white, burnt umber, romber, uh, uh, nickel azul yellow, gold, nickel azul gold, and burnt sienna. And and then a little bit of low viscosity on top to keep the, the paint open. And you can see if I wet down my texture on it, you see how much life I have. Now it's matte, but beautiful texture. So when I varnish it, all this open up will show through the, uh, the fragments. This one, I just pick it up here and there. So when I press, I get a little bit of difference like this. So I'm going to finish it up with a fire ring. Paints gray, a bit of raw umber, my medium, and crossing over. Creating those beautiful flight front flames. <laughs> Very transparent. And then smooth him out left and right. And then cleaning off 
or a touch to black. So we don't see any halo. Always working with cross. All right, so on our panel, I got white, yellow ochre, burnt umber. My cup, my mixture of uh, matte medium, water, and uh, a little bit of glazing acrylic liquid. So I'm making a tone, not pure white, because it's too strong in this background. A little bit of raw umber, a little burnt umber, rather, a little bit of yellow ochre. A little of my fine brush as well here. This is Semina. And I'm just going to start doing strong, nice, very sharp veins. And the thing about the, the fissures like this, they have to have a strong character. They have to be really uh, put in with purpose. They have to have a lot of um, dynamic into it and a, a beautiful sense of fissure. Nothing soft. Something's got to be strong. Whatever you do, you just have to be really with a lot of, uh, a lot of movement and dynamic to it. You don't want a wormy little kind of vein. You want something that shows that it broke, you know? We're just going to tone them down, the same way we tone these down, a little transparent color. <coughs> Alright, and you see the direction, I try to keep the same direction of the vein so you get a nice movement about it. Now I'm going to do the side and a little over glazing tomorrow. Make perfect. 